friends, and your common goal is to graduate, to grow up, and be smart. So you don't want to bully each other, you don't want to tease each other, you want to be positive. It's just one of the powerful messages shared by Robert Rodriguez. His audience, fifth graders, here at the Martin Luther King Elementary School in Wyandanche. From a quick glance, Robert looks like any other 26-year-old basketball player. But take a closer look. He has a prosthetic leg. Well, it's called a stump, but I was amputated at eight months because my parents had to make that decision. Either I was going to have to be in a wheelchair or um, I had a chance of having my foot amputated and having a shot at a normal life. Robert's a shooting guard on the AMP1 basketball team. As far as they know, they're the only amputee team who plays stand-up basketball in the country. And they're also the only team with half numbers on their jerseys. Why? Because they have half limbs. Growing up as an amputee, playing sports my whole life, I felt like I was the only one out there. I really didn't know any other amputees or who were competing at a high level like I was. So most of them were in wheelchairs or using crutches. Um, they weren't as mobile um, as I am, per se. Um, so me only competing with non-amputees, um, I was just I typed in amputee basketball one day and I saw that they were having tryouts and I was like, oh man, this is what I've been waiting for my whole life. So it felt like a blessing um, in disguise. Meet 20-year-old Jovan Lairfeld Booker. He's been playing for AMP1 since he was 17. When AMP1 came to my high school, um, they did a presentation and they also did a game. And I had just, you know, I had heard some about it, like obviously people were talking and they were like, oh, like, there's these amputee basketball players coming here. And I didn't think anything of it. I was just like, oh, okay, like, that's, that's cool. But I didn't know, like, it was going to be, you know, as inspiring as it was to me. So when they came to my school, I sat on the bench. They invited me. They were like, you know, I know it's probably, you know, it's hard. You know, it's high school. You know, people don't see amputees every day like this. So if you want to play, you can play. If you want to watch, you're, but you're basically like part of the team now. So, you know, I was 17 and I was like, wow, it's amazing. Like, these guys are so cool. They're so inspiring. AMP1, comprised of 11 members, demonstrates that all you need is courage, motivation, and heart to follow your dreams. Our main message, basically, is just to never give up on anything you want to do. You know, whether it be, like I told these kids, you know, being a president, you know, be an astronaut, be a pilot, whatever they want to do, everything's achievable. What's your name? Rob, nice to meet you. Rob, nice to meet you. Sure. Rob, nice to meet you. Cool, cool. Once I joined the team, my life is, hasn't been the same since. Well, for one, Robert never dreamt he would sign autographs, show off his stump, and travel the world, many times playing able-bodied non-amputee teams and win. Our message is extremely important, um, especially for myself, because growing up, um, when I was in the fifth grade, like some of these kids, I didn't know anyone else. I was kind of insecure. I would wear pants all the time. Um, and growing up, I started to become more comfortable. But um, as I meet young amputees or even kids who have any type of um, differences, in their life, um, if we can just let them know to be themselves and it's cool to be yourself, um, you know, then we, if, even if we affect one kid out of, you know, 50, then our message, you know, our, our deed is done. All right, guys, just remember to be positive and never give up. That's our message, to never give up, all right? Both boys and girls got to lace up and scrimmage with Robert and Jovan and were taken aback every time they drove the ball to the basket. It feels like it just, it, it, the stars were aligned um, for all of this to happen, so couldn't be more blessed, to be honest with you. Kind of feels like a blessing to be an amputee um, than anything else. The secret, the players say it's all about PMA, having a positive mental attitude. We just want to, you know, just show people that we're regular like you guys. We might have some, a uh, little bit of adversity, but we can overcome that, and as well as you can overcome anything in your life, whether it's a home problem, whether it's a work problem, whether it's a school problem or a friend problem. Um, if you put your mind to it and stay positive with the right intentions, you can get there. You know, when I was 17, I just saw it as a connection, you know, be with other amputees, be around them, you know, you know, have the, you know, the camaraderie, the brotherhood, you know what I'm saying? And, now it's just amazing for me because I get to, you know, give back to people, you know, and I get to, you know, travel the country and speak to people and, you know, inspire people. You know, we obviously, you know, we have a disability, but we don't let that stop us. And we just keep, you know, keep moving forward. We do everything, you know, a normal, normal person could do. And even on days where the guys may be discouraged or in pain, they try to remember just how fortunate they really are by triumphing over tragedy. Every time I fall, every time, you know, I'm, you know, I get injured, I get hurt, and just, you know, get up and keep going, keep moving, keep, you know, motivating myself, you know, keep, just get up, never give up, you know. We could be considered as heroes, but it's more so we're just, uh, we want to be more relatable. Um, that's all, it's, you know, everyone goes through difficulties in life. We're all people. Uh, we all bleed the same. We all breathe the same. Um, we just want to let people know to, you know, sometimes you have better days than others and that, you know, someone else, else has it worse than you.